Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Marc Marquez is on cloud 9 as he gears up to join the factory Lenovo Ducati team alongside Francesco Bagnaia next season. The 8-time world champion reflects on his journey from uncertainty to securing a coveted spot in one of MotoGP's top teams. Jack Miller opens up about his abrupt exit from KTM despite assurances of staying within the team's family leaving him without a contract for the 2025 MotoGP season. The Australian rider, known for his season experience and valuable feedback, expresses surprise and disappointment over the sudden turn of events as he prepares to navigate the remainder of this season with uncertainty looming over his future. Jorge Martin has made a decisive move from Ducati to Aprilia for the 2025 MotoGP season, emphasizing that he feels valued and appreciated at his new team. The Spanish rider, previously with Pramac Ducati, reflects on his career aspirations and the fulfillment of becoming a factory rider, highlighting his optimism for the future with Aprilia. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Marc Marquez expresses immense gratitude to Ducati for selecting him as an official rider alongside Peko Bagnaia, marking a significant turnaround from contemplating retirement just a year ago. Marquez credits his revitalization at Grezzini Ducati for reigniting his competitive spirit and positioning him for this latest career milestone. Especially as one year ago I was close to ending my career but luckily it was the summer break and I recharged the batteries and recharged my body. Then, from that point I decided on another way. Quote from Marc Marquez. Marquez details the meticulous decision-making process that led him to choose Ducati's official team, emphasizing his desire for the latest bike and his commitment to delivering top-notch performances on track. The swift contract finalization at Mugello underscores Ducati's confidence in Marquez's capabilities. I just gave my 100% on the racetrack and then on Sunday evening in Mugello they decided that I would be the rider and in two days we finished the contract," Marc Marquez told. Looking ahead, Marquez remains focused on finishing the current season strong with Grezzini Ducati while preparing for the challenges and opportunities that await him at Ducati. With his proven track record at circuits like Assen and Saxonring, Marquez aims to capitalize on his competitive edge and continue his pursuit of championship success. To wear the red suit next year will be a pleasure, and I will try to defend the colors with the maximum effort, Marquez said by crash. Ahead of the upcoming races, Marquez acknowledges the formidable competition from riders like Banyaya and Jorge Martin. With a strong package and solid team support, Marquez remains optimistic about his prospects at Assen and beyond aiming to challenge for top honors against tough opponents. We will do our best and I feel like we have a very good package. We are working very well with the team and we feel the support from Ducati, Marquez concluded. As Marc Marquez prepares to navigate the challenges of the MotoGP season, his move to Ducati signifies a new chapter filled with promise and determination. Stay tuned as the racing action unfolds with Marquez poised to make a significant impact on the track and continue his quest for MotoGP glory. Jack Miller reveals his shock at being informed of his departure from KTM just hours before the official announcement. Initially led to believe he would remain with the team, Miller describes the situation as unexpected and acknowledges the challenges of dealing with such news amidst an ongoing MotoGP season. Last I heard was don't bother talking to anybody because we want to keep you in the family. And then you get a phone call three hours before the press release gets launched saying that you're not getting a contract. Quote from Jack Miller. With half a season left to complete with KTM, starting at Assen, Miller faces uncertainties regarding his future in MotoGP. Despite the setback, he remains focused on finding a new team and evaluating offers that align with his career aspirations and long-term goals in the sport. I have money in my account, I'm very fortunate. So it's not about that. It's what I want for my career," added from Jack Miller. As Miller contemplates his next move, he emphasizes the importance of choosing a project that offers stability 
and a common goal, particularly with upcoming MotoGP regulations in mind. His extensive experience and technical input have been integral to KTM's development, making him an attractive prospect despite limited available seats for the upcoming season. A lot of things are changing in MotoGP come 27. So, that's one of those things we need to weigh up, Miller said. Reflecting on his MotoGP journey spanning 10 seasons across different teams, including Honda and Ducati, Miller highlights his achievements and the challenges of maintaining competitive form. While acknowledging standout performances this season, he remains optimistic about securing a competitive ride that allows him to showcase his skills and buy for podiums. As the MotoGP season progresses, Miller, alongside other riders like Augusto Fernandez, assesses potential opportunities for the future. With seats becoming scarce, the focus remains on securing a suitable team alignment that supports his ambitions in the sport. Jack Miller's unexpected departure from KTM underscores the uncertainties faced by MotoGP riders amidst team restructuring and competitive shifts. As he navigates the remainder of the season and evaluates future prospects, MotoGP enthusiasts await updates on Miller's next career move, anticipating where his experience and talent will flourish next in the world of premier motorcycle racing. Jorge Martin's transition to Aprilia marks a significant shift in the MotoGP rider market, as he leaves behind Ducati after years of aiming for a factory seat. Expressing his satisfaction with the move, Martin reveals that being a factory rider has been a long-held dream, one that he believes will be fully realized with Aprilia. I think I will be much happier in the next few years where I go. I will also be a factory rider which was my dream. I am going to a place where they really want me and where they will give 100% for me. This is important. Quote from Jorge Martin. Despite strong performances and being a title contender, Jorge Martin faced repeated disappointments at Ducati, especially after being passed over for factory team opportunities. Reflecting on his time there, Martin acknowledges the challenges and frustrations but remains focused on finishing the current season with professionalism and dedication. After four years trying to go to the official team I understood that I wasn't the decision or the best option for Ducati. It was Mark. Martin's statement. Addressing concerns about potential tensions with Ducati in the remaining races of the season, Martin assures that he will maintain professionalism and continue giving his best until the end. He emphasizes his confidence in Ducati's support and fairness in providing him with competitive equipment. For the moment until Valencia Ducati is my home, I will give my 100% to win or give my best to try and win, Martin said. With assurances from Aprilia and a fresh start on the horizon, Jorge Martin looks forward to competing on equal terms with his soon-to-be former Ducati teammates, Francesco Bagnaia and Marc Marquez. He expresses readiness to face new challenges and contribute to Aprilia's competitive ambitions in MotoGP. I'm confident that there won't be any issues and I can fight with these two guys in fair conditions. Martin concluded. Jorge Martin's departure from Ducati to Aprilia signals a new phase in his MotoGP career, marked by renewed ambitions and the pursuit of his dreams as a factory rider. As the season progresses, MotoGP enthusiasts will watch closely as Martin navigates this transition, eager to see how he performs with his new team and adapts to the competitive landscape of the sport. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.